Now this the thumbnail is really uh, is really something special. Obviously, uh, I guess that's supposed to be me. I like to be a fake. Whoa, 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 whoa! Did you just say that? I like to be a fake. Okay. I want to apologize. Honestly, in the last few years, it seems like it's cool to complain about current Valve expansion. Everywhere I look, it's just people complaining about the game. Nowadays, if you go outside in public and say out loud, I like to play BFA, it's equivalent yeah. of saying, I like to kiss men in middle of Moscow. That means you're gay. Now, I understand uh -huh. Rex Troy is doing his thing on YouTube and we are all amused watching him abuse this systems in world pvp however yeah, the issue comes if you can benefit greatly from these systems in rated pvp corruptions is unbalanced pvp something new to wow let's go a few expansions back to see what's going on imagine full armor pen warrior with shadow Moon and Deathbringer's bringers see this is dude he's saying exactly what i was saying is every expansion we think oh my god this is so broken and overpowered, there's no way it can get worse than this. And then the next expansion after that, somehow it does. Every single time. And then next to him, we have DK standing with another Shadow Moon. That's Verdict well. Trinket and yep. Gargoyle Pet behind oh, really him. And you dude. are just this little priest or mage, whatever, right? Cooldowns! Damage! Yeah. Blink. Charge! Blink. Clip! Nova? Blightstone! Block? Fuck him, dude! But in 8.3, with gushing wounds and dressed trinket, everyone yeah. could have moments like this. And honestly, looking yeah. at these clips, I like it. I think this is fun. It reminds me of BFA Destro Warlocks. <laughs> yeah, boy! Yes, and look! I agree with him, in a way, right? I do. The problem wasn't really with, I, I thought the verse stacking was boring, but like having the different corruptions that you can make decisions on and like what you want to have, like a lot of haste or a lot of mastery or whatever. Yeah. I thought that was fucking cool. Like the, the whole thing about like the problem wasn't that you could do it on one character. The problem was that you could only do it on one character. I want to do it on more. That's why I said before in the 8.3 video. I'm not here to talk about PvP. For me, okay. PvP is about blasting as hard as you can. That's Good. why I just get 2.4 and after that, I'm just enjoying the fiesta inside of Battlegrounds. Yeah, which you just is get nothing the different around, than it. how WoW used to be since day one. Yeah. Look at this yeah, walk dude. and remember the good old days. Oh, man. Yeah, look at this. He's just killing oh people with one ability. Last week's prize was the Razor Megalodon. Seven foot one surround Jesus. Headset. What four, four, the four, 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 fuck? Five. Five. Go for five. Five. Oh, 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 dude, I remember this. So back in the day, I, I actually watched. I, I watched this stream. Back in the day, warriors would get a random proc for Taste for Blood, and it would make your heroic strike do like a hundred percent more damage each stack, and you could get five stacks. So Wreckful's on his warrior, and he's getting five stacks right there. You can see it; it's his third debuff. And so the second that he gets five stacks from hitting the warlock pet, watch what's about to happen to this fucking druid. I got here goes boom. <laughs> It was so bad. It was so bad that they actually took every warrior and every hunter's arena rating and force reset it back to 2200 because it was so broken and it was destroying the ladder. It was the only time that they ever did that. It was fucking hilarious. Motherfucker! However, PvP scaling. That is where I draw the line as well. I don't like it. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Guys, give me the mount or I'm never <laughs> streaming again. Hey guys, hey guys. Okay. If I don't get this mount, okay. I'm never fucking streaming again. Ever. True. I'll never fucking stream again. Ever. Ever. I'll never fucking stream. Whoa. They removed PvP scaling from the yep. game. That's great. That's I should awesome. probably go and check that out. Give it to me. Okay. All right. Poison Marina. Do some BGs. This is fucking. Wait, why he got the? <laughs> what the 
<laughs> fucking idiot, dude. The bloodthirsty, by the way. This is yeah. my favorite part of Gileas. He's just watching people fail that jump. All right, there's a priest. There's okay. a big priest right, right there in see. the back. Huge priest. Um, let me stack my damage. I'm not going to interrupt. Just stacking my damage. Yo, look here. at this damage. Like, okay, and it's now so let much me better. Use him to no scaling PvP. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. I love. It's actually, dude. I think that PvP now is way better than it used to be. That's how it should be. This is exactly how it should be. This is what people have wanted for a long time. Warriors can do that. Yes, and it's fucking glorious, man. You use Drestigath with an empowered reaping flames. That bitch is fucking dead. I love this game, dude. Better I gear, just better damage. I absolutely exactly. love this game. Dispel me. Dispel me. Let's go grab okay. this base. Mage tower. And yeah. there is a mage defending yeah, it, of dude. course. Ma oh, yeah, oh, dude. Oh, oh. You see that? Yeah, dude. Be the back real quick. He gets a little right, buff right there. What's Look up, at dude? this dumbass. <laughs> so you had to pick up something from inside. Oh, oh, oh PvP is Just gets fucking bye -bye. deleted. Bye bye. Thanks it's for being fucking amazing, man. Workout. We don't need you anymore. So this is my base fuck yeah. that I just got. Then I look inside. This is so good. What the fuck are these two people doing? The stupid ass dipshit. Well, let's set up like a trap right there. <laughs> fucking retard. Oh my god. This Look is this, so dude. cool, man. They keep dude, back. I've actually they done keep a back warriors. Baseline reflect. Perfect fucking expansion yeah. ahead of us, boys. Warriors are. I I'm very happy. Like, honestly, a lot of the warriors changes. Like, I, I really, really like playing my warrior in BGs right now. Other than the fact that I feel like I don't really do as much damage as other classes. Like, the way that it plays is good. But I feel like I can never compete with like a hunter or like a few other classes because of just how powerful they are. Finally going to have some fun. Not yeah. only that, but also PvP scaling is gone. Muy bien, yeah, yeah, my yeah. hermano. <laughs> Pauline, come inside. Come inside. I okay. bite you. Cringeberry. Cringeberry. See this Berry, stupid ass in. bitch, dude. Look it's at like, this oh, stupid yes! ass bitch. Yes! But boys. Dude, that dude, what he did right there, that is the main thing. If you want to beat a paladin. Every single time in a BG, charge with spell reflect up. Seven times out of ten, you're going to stun them. They're going to 100% stun themselves. Like, it, it is fucking hilarious. This video is not supposed to be about PvP or BGs. I okay. just got carried away a little bit because I was having fun. This video Imagine is supposed fun. to be about the issue that I see in WoW community. And okay. it's about negativity surrounding this game. Constant co- I believe it's not right for a man to hit a woman at all, but I believe it's right for a man to smack a bitch. Constant complaints <laughs> for the sake Jesus of Christ. getting social points. I mean, yeah. it's a trend. It's definitely a trend to mm -hmm. talk shit about WoW. Of course, there's things that I would change about BFA. I yeah. wish the expansion was more alt-friendly. Rated battlegrounds okay. need solo queue because there is yeah. literally zero groups in LFG 20 hours a day. RBGs are dead, man. Like, it's so sad. I, I, I used to love RBGs and, and they're fucking dead now. And I don't... Solo queue RBGs would suck. Well, the point is like... What he's really saying, like, even without solo queue, they just need to incentivize RBGs and give them something important that you can get out of them. Because right now, nobody cares about RBGs, and it's not good. I, I wish more people did. Remove LFR. Some mythic plus affixes were not so fun. Try Those and suck. fix faction disbalance. Benthic gear was absolute garbage. Give me the item I need. Yes! There it is. Fuck, there's no socket on it. Yep. Remove a weekly chest as well. Getting max item level gear for doing a weekly dungeon is kinda lame. Remove PvE trinkets from PvP. I mean, what else is there to mention? Maybe- Oh, I don't know about that. I actually like having the PvE trinkets. The problem is that Drestigath- I, I think that Drestigath would have been way better if it was either on this on the GCD or it automatically crit every single time. I'm okay with some PvE trinkets being in PvP. I think it makes the the it makes the game a little bit more exciting and more interesting. Class design, class balance. That's actually a good example of yeah. how people like to complain. The best balance in classes and class design was probably in MOP. But now think about community back in MOP. Dude, MOP! <laughs> what is this panda, bro? Mob died after cataclysm, man. <sighs> Yeah. Well, that's my list, I guess. Now, all these other things that people are complaining okay. about, these garbage players who just happen to be WoW YouTubers, things such as daily quests in the two assault zones, along with the daily mini vision, you have your daily mission table missions. These are all just 
Stupid things as my grandma would say, ne prdi na usta, molim te. It's just content to feed the sheep. We have daily world quests yeah. on seven zones now. A daily emissary. <laughs> world quests. And before you make the argument that, well, you don't need to do all of this stuff. My okay. counter to that is, yeah, you don't, but with the Azerite system and virtually all of this stuff giving you Azerite power, you're inclined to do all of this stuff so you don't fall yeah, behind. Sure. You get the power! I haven't done world quests since April and right now I am rank 5 Fury Warrior DPS and I'm quite sure it goes same for PvP as well. Let's ask Vaz. I think Vaz is pretty good, right? Okay. 3.6k. Do you still do world quests every day? Bunch of That's sheep a smart feet. guy. So he's farming it for transmog. That's exactly it. Yeah, of course. Was shaking train video? No, no. Here's the thing, right? Is like obviously you don't really have to do these kinds of things. I think that like it's a it's a psychological thing, and I think what Palav is saying is true. But psychologically, it feels bad whenever you know that you are not kind of playing at your maximum efficiency and you can't go into a fight completely ready to do that fight. And I think that there's something really cool about in Classic WoW where you can go into a fight and you have all the gear and your character is as powerful as it can be. And you know that you're going into the fight with that thing in mind. And there isn't just like an endless grind that you know that's like in the back of your mind that you could make make you a little bit more powerful. It, it's not really as much of an issue in terms of actual functional like gameplay and how much it actually matters. It's more of an issue in terms of like kind of how it makes players feel. And the Azerite thing wasn't an issue at all in 8.3, but it was bad in Battle of Desar Lore whenever people had to farm islands in order to unlock the second row of traits. So it's each of these issues, like obviously Wise or Palav aren't going to do it now, but they probably had to do it more back then. Uh, that's what I mean. Now I know that repairing the battleground system isn't going to solve all of these problems. Which problems? Which problems with the random battlegrounds do you see? There is hundreds of random BGs being played right now while you are complaining about non-existent problems. How do we revive Battlegrounds, a game mode that I hear from players every single day saying they miss it so much but don't have a reason to do them anymore because they're simply a waste of time? I think many of us here know the answer. And that is cosmetics. Oh, okay. You want okay. transmog as a reward from random BGs. Otherwise, yeah, be you're fun. just not going to play. Yeah, it's waste of time, dude. Waste of time, by the way. Waste of fucking time. Well, I, I don't know about that. I actually think that having incentivization to do things is really important because players now are more goal-oriented than they used to be. Am I wrong about that? I, I think players now in general are more goal-oriented. And the context of Stoops' video, I will defend Stoops a little bit in this video, right? Is because the context of his video was about the problems that are occurring in Shadowlands PvP gearing that I think everybody would agree with. Yeah, and most of the shit PvPers? I don't know. I think that, like, a lot of things... Like, obviously, he's right to an extent. Random BGs can be fun. But I think that if you want to revitalize BGs and give them the same interest that people used to have in them... Like, right now, I think actually BGs are pretty good. Like, I enjoy BGs, but there is still missing, like, an incentive to actually do them in terms of, like, something to work towards. And Shadowlands is hopefully going to fix that with the gearing system. All right, relax, Joe Rogan. You're going to waste your time. So this guy thinks if Blizzard adds cute shoulder transmog as a reward to random BGs, fucking Cobra, Weaver, and the teen are going to come back to WoW. Oh, my God. Look. There is nothing wrong with random BGs. Sure, they can add more cosmetic reward. You know what's wrong with random BGs? I can show you what's wrong with random BGs, and it's right on Palav's screen right now. Do you want to know what's wrong with random BGs? Is that his team is losing because the autofill that Blizzard did isn't fully filling the group to give them a fair chance to win. Like, I've had this happen where, like, you lose one person in a BG, then you start losing, and you lose somebody else, and then the, like, the blizzard doesn't autofill it. Like, it. It just sucks. But if you truly love BGs like myself, you don't care about rewards. You know, Stoops, look inside your heart. 
Maybe you lost passion. Maybe you just miss the people you used to play back in the days with. Maybe those people simply quit the game because they got bored. Like yeah. six years ago, all I did was random BGs. Eight hours a day, I would just play yeah. random BGs and I would have so much fun. Nowadays, yeah. if I do that, I might as well become lead singer of Linkin Park. And then, of course, Asmongold reacts to it and everyone in chat is like, choo, 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 Okay, choo, all right, choo, all right, here we go. Here we and go, here we those go. people can't even name three abilities from each class, let alone play PvP go. at all. Like, they need to have more, uh... Uh, they need to have more more things that like like a circus. Okay, 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 okay dude. All right, Pilot. You you stream you stream every day. Stream every day, all day, five times a week. And I cut out. So I cut up by five ten seconds. Uh, uh, somebody saying some stupid ass shit. You know, like listen. I say plenty of stupid ass shit because I'm up here talking all the time. All right. That's all. Yeah, I'm, ta I'm talking all the time, and that's what happens sometimes. You talk all the time, you say some dumbass shit. Listen, I agree with what Stoops is saying. I think that, yeah, you're right, that there are a lot of people that have lost passion with the game and are blaming it on Blizzard. That's true, too. But one way to get that passion back is to give those people something to work towards. Never ending circus, my friends. And then he goes on to make his own YouTube videos as well. Just uh -huh. reading at this title, you get scared. Oh no! Oh, actually, the original title was What the Fuck is Going On with Shadowlands, but Blizzard, or sorry, YouTube wouldn't promote the video, and it wasn't showing up in anybody's recommendeds, so I had to change it. Did they f up tuning of raid bosses? Our new mythic boss affix is unplayable and bugged? What? They brought back Titan Forging? No. Nope. No. He's complaining about the fact that he can't use Legion Legend that is in low level dungeons while Get level. Get the fuck. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right, dude. No. Listen, are, are you guys crazy? Yes, obviously that was a little dumb thing, but that was the day that they said they weren't going to let you use Shadowlands abilities outside of Shadowlands content. I don't know. I think that warrants a video, don't you? I think that straight up warrants a video. And by the way, Perlob, you're welcome because our feedback made them revert the decision. So you're welcome, Perlob. You're welcome, everybody. Our feedback and us being upset about it made them revert the decision. And Blizzard even said in the post that it was because of the amount of feedback and negativity that they got from it that they knew that they made the wrong call and they were on defense about it. And that's why they changed it. It wasn't because of you. It wasn't because of me ex exclusively, right? No, of course not. It was because of people like me and people talking about it in general. You want me to be 100% serious? I will do that real quick. I was genuinely concerned about the way that Shadowlands was being developed, and I didn't like the decision of locking the abilities of the Covenants behind only being in Shadowlands content. I thought that it was a horrible balance decision, it was a horrible design decision, and it indicated a level of contrived development that I think caused a lot of bad decisions to be made in BFA, and I didn't want to see that same mindset go into Shadowlands. So whenever I heard that that announcement was being made and that change was being made, I made a video about it because I thought that it was a bad decision that was going to negatively impact the game. And Blizzard, by the way, agreed with me because they changed it. They changed it. Link. That I've ever really considered quitting the game seriously. And the new meta right now is mm -hmm. to complain about store transmog. Shut. Which, by the way, it's absolutely garbage. That's why it's good, right? But oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. It it's hurts trash. people. I was going to resub, but this stopped me from doing it. Like, come on, man. It's just unnecessary toxicity in WoW community. If you I disagree with this. I don't like t I, I don't like cosmetics in the game. Yeah, I, I disagree with this. I, I don't like cosmetics as paid transactions inside of the game. A lot of the reward structure built around the game, like if you go, like where's Pilav's armory? He doesn't have his armory. He has an Instagram, but not his armory. So listen, if you go and you look at Pilav's armory, the odds are, like last time I looked, he's wearing his Malevolent Gladiator title. The reason why he's wearing that title is because he felt good about earning that title. You want to give people reasons to feel good about earning cool things. And whenever other people can buy other cool things from the store, that devalues to some extent the exclusivity of the cool things that you have. 
how cool would Ashes of Alar be back in, in Burning Crusade if somebody could just buy Invincible from the store? It wouldn't be as cool. Cosmetics matters a lot. And even the, uh, and by the way, if you don't trust me on this, um, the RuneScape developers completely agreed with me on this. And that's why they don't sell cosmetics on the store for RuneScape, because they can understand how important it is that cosmetics have some sort of value for players. Cosmetics matter a lot. Not for everybody, but they do matter. If you don't like the trans smoke, just don't buy it. Imagine someone quitting League of Legends because this monstrous predator ran guy, the bloodthirsty animal, can look like this with $20 skin. And that these... Yeah, well, they don't have to pay money to play League of Legends. They don't have to pay monthly to play League of Legends either. Okay. Like, I don't know. Blizzard paid off Pilav to fucking to defend the store transmog. I think he's wrong. I think he's 100% fucking wrong. Like, I'm sorry, man. But I pay for the fucking game. I pay for the fucking expansions. I pay for the fucking the, the sub fee. I pay for all three of these. I don't want to have to pay a fourth time for some fucking transmog. That shit should be in the game. That should be obtainable in the game. There's no excuse. There's no reason. There's no there, there's no rationalization for it. It does it ruin the game? No, it doesn't ruin the game. It just makes it worse. Negative things are not only on YouTube or Twitch. They're <laughs> spreading on social medias. Let's play a game. I'm gonna show you a tweet and you try and guess what is the story behind it. Judging by the seven DMs I've already received thanking me for this thread, I guess it resonates. My suggestion? Please join me in speaking up, assuming it doesn't put your safety or well-being in jeopardy. Many of you were right there with me and saw most of what I did. What's this tweet A, about? Oh. murder. B, rape. C, Sexy racism. Abuse. And D, some random girl being angry because WoW developer didn't listen to her feedback on the game. It's it's A. A. Oh, never mind. Shit, dude. And the, the list of complaints just goes on and on. Yeah, obviously, like, that tweet was a little melodramatic. It, it was clearly melodramatic. But I think that, like, was what she was saying wrong? Do you realize Pilab barely looked into the situation that hard? I have no idea how much he looked into it, what he looked at. I have no fucking idea. Yeah, obviously the post was melodramatic. Of course it was melodramatic. But the idea is that the devs are not listening to the player base and developing the game in a bad way. Like, I don't think that, like, it's not a matter of kind of... Like, this is to a degree. I think that everybody needs to understand this. Like, the development of the game is subjective. Like, some people might like the way their class plays one patch, and some people might not. Like, for example, I like the idea of corruptions. And people got mad at me because I had the idea that corruptions were cool. It's the same as Benthic Armor just a few minutes ago. I thought corruptions were cool. So, part of this is subjective. And I think that you have to understand that going into it. That there is not like an objective, like fun is not an objective variable. Some people think that one thing is fun. Other people think that something else is fun. In my opinion, I think that obviously the person that made the thread about like the, uh, the WoW secret forums was being a little bit melodramatic. Absolutely. But I think what they were saying, the points that they were, make, that they were making had, had a little bit of weight to them. And by the way, I even offered if any of the Blizzard people that are involved with that, if they want to come on my stream and give their side of it, I'm totally ready to do that. Like, I think that you should be able to criticize the game. Is there a certain amount of unnecessary hate? Like what Pilav is saying? Fundamentally, I agree with him. I think that there are a lot of people that unnecessarily hate on the game, and it's kind of stupid. Like, you see this all the time, especially in terms of, like, classic fans. Classic fans are the worst for just having these, like, invented problems with the game that they absolutely hate the game for. Yeah, a hundred fucking percent. What I'm trying to say here is, like, I just want the game to be better, okay? And if Pilav has, like, a way, like, I don't know what he thinks people should do in order to give feedback for making the game better. Because these people obviously... By the nature of Blizzard inviting them to the secret forum, Blizzard clearly valued their feedback. And Blizzard clearly thought that they were informed about the game. That's why they invited them. Let me go back. All right, I'm talking too much over the video. Let's watch the rest of the video. 
Pong. Panda, pet battles, pet get, get. I thought pandas were fucking stupid, Pilaf. Like, I thought that shit was stupid. I thought it was stupid in 2012 whenever that shit got announced. I thought it was stupid now. I always thought that shit was stupid. I fucking hated pandas. I thought it was dumb as fuck. That was a Warcraft 3 hidden fucking mission that nobody gave a fuck about. And they made a whole expansion over it. And I'm pissed. If they had released Mists of Pandaria with Wide's theme, it would have been the best fucking expansion ever. But they had to do it with pandas, and I still don't forgive them for that shit. Fuck pandas, man. I don't like them. And the store mounts. Yeah, that's my favorite, by the way. Buzzer doesn't listen to its community. We don't want store mounts. And then every time Blizzard releases new store mount, community looks like this in Orgrimmar. But the annoying thing is when 80% of people who complain are just bored of the game. Regardless of the systems, store transmogs, or the amount of gay NPCs in the lore. I don't know if all you do is weekly heroic raid and plus 15, yeah. and then everything else you do is farm transmog, I don't think you should be complaining about the game, but rather actually try and play it. But on a positive note, congratulations to Asmongold and okay. his team on creating this network OTK. What's Thank here? you. I don't want to do questions about Thank who's you, going man. To be joining New York. Okay? Thank you very much. So uh, we we'll, we will see that. who that's going to be, and we will go for. What are you trying to What are you trying to say, Paul? What are you What are you trying to say, dude? What What are you trying to say, dude? Yeah, what are you trying to say, dude? Boys, you don't have to ask him that question. You already know who is going to try at least to join the org. They're just gonna pop up on Twitter, ready to jump There's on the bandwagon. There's a lot of people that tweeted at hey. me. Listen, Asmund, just make sure you don't let her hug anyone, because we all know how that ended last time. Every day right now is still difficult. I think that I think that we'll be okay, Pilaf. I I think I think we'll be okay. Don't worry. We have like this thing. We 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 plan on doing this thing where uh, we don't have the users and the people in the org use their position as an org to leverage sexual favors with other people that are involved in the org and we have this like we kind of we talked about this a lot it took like maybe like five minutes for us to come to an agreement on this because we had to talk about it for five minutes and then we just all agreed but yeah i, I think that we'll be okay every day right now is still difficult I mean, come on. Of course he's going to be stressed out. The whole org fell apart. Of course he's fucking upset. Yeah, of course he's upset. It's like, yeah, he fucked up. But like, damn. People were pissed. Anyways, sorry for this okay. uh, little rant. I go. just hope that Madeline Rue doesn't tweet at me for being a bad boy. This wasn't my plan, but I do these videos without script and I got a little bit emotional. So here we are. Either okay. way, I'm gonna go now to attend a really serious event. Thanks for watching this video and I don't know, dude. Stop talking shit about WoW, yo. Peace. Okay. Holy shit. Look at all these emails. I have to call them. What the fuck is this? Ole, 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 ole. Ole, Waiting for this. This is going to challenge ole, her. Ole, 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 ole. Why is he not answering? Cardi Sagnia, 23 years of age, improving. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look at the heights on that. That's beautiful long jumping whoa that jump did you see that jump dude did you see that <sighs> let me try again <laughs> oh my god wait what okay here we go hello twan finally where are you at dude hey man i'm just at the sporting event oh you watching football anyways i got free content for you man football what's that when, when do i skip ahead again sorry i forgot what it is 1558. Okay, 1558. I'm not All watching right, football. I'm watching athletics. What are you talking about? Come uh, hold a minute, please. Uh, my favorite athlete okay. is about to jump. jump. Uh, what? Jump. Feel up? Jump. Feel up. Jump. Hello? Yeah! <laughs> so why did you call me, man? You said you have some free content? Yes, okay. your fans sent like over a hundred videos. Oh, it's the motivational content. I asked in last video. Yeah, man. They actually oh, did yeah, it. Oh, yeah, I remember I that. The yeah. the best fans in the world. 
Say no more. I'm coming home. Okay. Oh, this is good. Since when did he buy a Lamborghini? Yeah, when did he buy a Lamborghini? Wow. What the hell is this? Some intolerance and bigotry. <laughs> Can't help but think, should homophobia and racism exist too? Checks. Shut the fuck up. What do you think the- wh why do you kill an orc? Cause it's an orc. Why do you kill a tauren if you're alliance? Cause it's a tauren. The game's literally fucking based around racism. Like, World of Warcraft? It's World of Race Warcraft. That's where the wars are from. It's the different races that are at war with each other. What do you mean? That's it's it's completely based or are you kidding me? Okay, let's see what you made, motherfuckers. Dylan's pill of response video. Get your brain okay. out of pickle jar. Good meme, good meme, I see. Potential? Yeah. Hey, love. I need you to make more videos, mate. I watch too much Asmund Gold. <laughs> Whoa, what bro? P-Love needs motivation to create content. We need to yeah. go. Chill, dude. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got a nice he mic. Look at that. He can't even pronounce the word motivation, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, is that Listen, bad? he's upset about Kosovo, and now he's done that thing where you <laughs> sit on your hands, so it feels like it's someone else. I know. Yeah, he's yeah. stuck in a wheelchair, because classic <laughs> fucked him like Terry Crews in White Chicks. Bro, he needs us. Let's go. Oh, okay. god. Damn. Flying from London, oh, our wow. heroes prepare to take on the world's yep. greatest challenge. <laughs> Wait a minute, there is something okay. wrong with this map, boys. Bro! Serbia, since US is this is Pilav about to complain about European politics again? Wait, I feel like we're about to have another fucking European political rant. Here we go. In peace talks, armed with childlike humor and poor camera work, who knows what awaits? Here we go. <laughs> Shrechno. Okay. We finally made it to Pilov's house in Serbia. Bro, look out. What is it? It's Asmund Gold. He's what? waiting outside Pilov's house, just waiting to steal his content when he creates it. Yeah, dude, we have to talk about that. I okay. literally spent two weeks editing my video, and he reacts to it as soon as I uh -huh. upload, and then his editor puts it on YouTube five minutes after I do. Half of my family watched my uh -huh. last video through his reaction. Is this what... And, and that's my fault? That's your own, like, because your your dad or your mom watches it, and you're mad at me? What about get mad at them, dude? Yeah, getting called out, dude. Getting called the fuck out, it's my fault. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, fucking right. I'm very evil, I know that, man. Is that, I have no idea. I'm waiting there. What do they do over in Serbia? Is this life over in Serbia <laughs> right here? Good grief. Uh-huh. Guess I'm gonna have to kick your ass too. Bro, he's summoning his own stuff. No, you're gonna- You that. caused this. Oh. You're the problem with gaming. Don't worry, bro. Wait, I'm you're gonna this. fight the Asmogold. Wait, me? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's no Savix added to this. What the fuck Nobody, is this? We should go help Pilaf. Alright. Okay, here we go. My god. He's fucking <laughs> Mia Malkova in a tub. <laughs> I haven't talked to Mia in two months, right? And then after two months, I checked her Twitter and she has big tits. What? Or that streamer Snow Mixy. Like few months ago when I checked her stream, just- I, I have no idea about that. The regular girl playing Holy Paladin having fun. <laughs> now when I checked her Instagram, she looks like a model. Army of rank one players simping to get a kiss on Discord. And then here I am, looking worse and worse as the time goes on. Bro, he's gonna need a holy word barrier to protect himself from that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna laugh at that. Okay. Nice. Nice. That's a Very nice clever. little movie you made, buddy. Very but clever. thank you guys for all the videos you sent me. Obviously, Very clever. I can't show them all. Look, content will come. But we need to go into Shadowlands with smile okay. on our face. Accept the fact that this game is just... Different. Just go out there in beautiful <sighs> Azeroth and have fun. I guess... Is Pulav's really going to be an, an, an advocate for Volpira now? Is this, is this where we're at? We're going to have him advocating for Volpira... Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Is this is this where we're at? Like, listen. 
I am excited for Shadowlands. There are some things I am not excited about. Everybody knows I'm going to play the game. The thing is, we complain about the game because we like the game and we want it to be even better. That's always the reason. It's not because we don't like it. It's the opposite. We love the game. We love it so much that we love it. It's like a horseshoe. We love it so much we start hating it. That's what happens, man. I play it all the time. People complain to gain views. What's the, what, what, what is the reasoning behind that? You think that only people that say bad things about the game get views, but people that say good things about the game don't get views? Like, what, what logic is that, man? Like, here, listen, I played the game, and I've streamed for a long time. And I can say one thing. My negative or positive outlook on the game has literally no determining variance of how much viewership that I get. It does not matter at all. And in fact, many of the streams that I was the most positive about the game, uh, you know, like excited about new releases or talking about new content or something like that, get much more viewership than just an average everyday stream where I'm pissed off about a storm out. Yes, there are hate watchers. But there are also love watchers. And if you're if you comp if you make content for hate watchers, you're not making content for the love watchers. So there are some people that get depressed whenever you talk bad about the game and they leave. And there are some people that get depressed whenever you talk good about the game and they leave. I don't think that negativity fundamentally is more popular than positivity regarding WoW. I don't think so. I don't. Yes, that's it for this video. I know okay. there was not much gameplay. I just missed the times when people were innocent and enjoyed the game for what it was. Nowadays, everyone is expert at developing and pointing out the mistakes on each one is fields of the game design and development and whatnot. Man, shut the fuck up! Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Okay. Okay, number one. Number one, I, I want to just pause this here. Oh, that's you guys. I think that obviously, like, it, it, here's an example, right? What Pilav is saying is, like, mostly true. It's mostly true. That, and like, it, 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 I think it's contextually true based off of who it is. So, for example, like, yeah, there are people that only complain about the game. If I go on Classic, it is absolutely true. Just like it is mind boggling how many people find new reasons to complain about the game. So like it's yeah, of course, like, yeah, they're like, wow, like, wow, it's like Farmville now because you have like mission tables in like your in your garrison or something like that. It's crazy. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I think there's a plenty of other things that are, you know, reasonable to get frustrated about. So what if Shadowlands powers don't work outside of Shadowlands? Though? Shadowlands content? It's nothing major? Really? I think it is. For me personally, I think that the, uh, I think that not allowing the usage of some of your base core abilities for your class outside of the current expansion is like a, that's a huge thing. That's massive. And they fixed it. There was so much of an outcry about it with other people that agreed with me that they fixed it. I think it is. It's really, really bad. Like, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I disagree with you there. Like, overall, obviously, video's right. Like, was this person being a little bit uh, a little bit melodramatic? Yeah, probably. But I think that overall, what they're saying is kind of true. Pet battles aren't really that bad, and I do think storm mounts suck. That's basically it.